Being able to draw in 3D is such a useful skill if you ever want to go into joinery, carpentry, building, architecture. Now it takes a wee bit of practice, but hopefully within 20 to 30 minutes you'll be able to draw three-dimensional shapes. Now just before we start, we need to think what's the difference between 2D and 3D. Well, 2D means it's really got two directions, two dimensions. Okay, so we're going up and along with this shape here. Whereas 3D means that I'm not just giving us up and along, we're also having depth here as well, this feeling of going into the page. So all 3D shapes start as 2D shapes. So if I want to draw a cube, I'm gonna start by drawing a square. Now to give it this third dimension, what I need to do is have some lines coming from three corners of the shape and they need to all be going in the same direction, a little bit like this. Okay, so they're all at the same angle. Once I've got to that, I'm just going to connect them up. Like that, and like that. There we go. Now here's the most common mistake I see people doing. They do this, they go right out like that, out like that, and then they go... And you can see if I connect that up, it doesn't quite make sense because all of these lines have to be going at the same angle. Now, once you get good at drawing them, you can try them at different elevations. That means we're using three different corners and going in a different direction. So something a little bit like this. Being able to do this is great if you ever want to do like product design or like design a phone and you look at it from different angles. That was a cube. If I want to make a triangular prism, I start again with my 2D shape of a triangle. I'm going to pick these two corners, draw lines at the same angle again, and join them up. Now, triangular prisms are interesting, I think, because if we are drawing them from a downwards elevation, that means we're looking onto them like above, they only have two lines. However, if I'm looking at them from an upwards elevation, that means we're looking, we're like we're underneath them looking up. Well, they end up having three lines and a join at the bottom. So my final challenge would be, can you combine a cube and a triangular prism to make a house? 